Cactus people, it's another lovely sunny day in February and we're in the Kent countryside and today we're going to have a little look around the polytunnel. Here it is and it's completely unheated. Excuse me if I just shut the door behind me. It's a bit warmer in here. And to start with, we'll have a look at these uh, mainly Apuntias down here, Apuntia monocanthus. Uh, most of these I moved a few weeks ago because they had frost damage on from <coughs> before Christmas. Uh, but I noticed a few of them are not too bad. They've been burnt at the tips, but a little bit of pruning, a bit of sulphur dusting. That one's probably had it, but. Um, some of them may come back. That one's again not looking too bad. Uh, a few of the bigger ones seem to have bought it around the actual stem. Uh, there's been collapse and softness around here, so I think they're, they're not worth saving. Uh, and over here, this was uh, an Apuntia vestita cristata. Uh, nothing left there, so he, he'll be going on the compost heap. Uh, a few overwintering things and some peanut cactus which have come through fine. Now bear in mind that this tunnel offers very little protection from the frost. So these have had to put, put up with um, a few degrees of it. Uh, they're not looking at all bad though. And over here another collection of the puntias. The uh, monocanthas here, again the tips have been burnt, they're not too bad. And the humifusers, they just shrivel up for the winter, they can put up, put up with most things. And a Pontia Quimillo, which have not done too bad at all. Still quite uh, firm. These are held up with stakes because as they're in the pots they're quite fragile but uh, once they get their roots in the ground uh, they become much stronger plants and they're pretty much self-supporting uh, but until then I'll leave the stakes on especially if someone wants to buy one they, they don't like falling apart in the car. All monocanthas with uh, tip damage but uh, should be okay with a bit of pruning. I don't normally have pallets in here, they've been put in here so I can dry out and I can take them apart. Uh, last year's pots of ginger and um, bulbine frutessens which look like they bought it but under here is a bit of green coming through so they might come back. I've got some um, cuttings of these in the cactus house so they should be alright. <coughs> Down here Lots of uh, two to three year old seedlings, they all look fine. There's uh, mainly parodias, a few mammillarias. Cuttings of the, the bunny ears. I think a mouse has had that one up. But nothing wrong with those. Antia monocanta monstros, a little shriveled up for winter but uh, otherwise okay. Uh, 
the things that did buy it were these, I think the Aureus Aureus. Uh, they did feel very floppy just after the frost now. I think they've just dried out. I think they've had it. So. And, uh, Mammalaria gracilis. Got plenty of that, Daz, if you're looking. Um, Apuntia salmianas. They're fine. On the top. Sulca rebutia rauchii. Uh, they've put up with the uh, the frost very well. Nice and firm there. And over here we've got various uh, different coloured peanut type cactus. The Shema Labibia, Alba, and I think we've got a yellow one in there, Johnson's Gold, and uh, one I'm not quite sure which variety it is, but had a lovely reddish flower in it last year. Several of those, and they've, uh, they've put up with the frost fine. These Echinocactus, Platyacanthus, again, nothing wrong with those. We grew all these from seed. And over here, these aren't normally in here, these um, <coughs> Sempervirens I've just put in. Sempervirens I've just put into overwinter in here, and the pots need uh, cleaning up and sorting out. The dividing more peanut cactus, which are absolutely fine, and uh, Lamellaria gracilis in different stages of pruning and maturity. And fine, these ones are Jovi Barber Alioni. Alioni, can't quite pronounce it. Uh, the Rolling House Leak, I think this is called. Again, these normally live outside, and I brought them in to uh, tidy them up a bit. And the bigger peanut cactus at the back there. One good thing about the frost is that uh, they all flower well after it. They uh, they don't tend to flower very well if it's not been a cold winter, if they don't feel like they've had a winter. And, uh, some rebuchers that uh, look fine. Nice big uh, Mammalaria boccasana there. Shouldn't really touch this, but it just looks tempting to leave it alone. Again, a few uh, punches there. A little bit of tip damage on some. And these are Parodia arabescens. They're probably three or four years old now. A bit of mixture, a mixture of things at the end here. Uh, everything's looking fine. I've had to take a couple of um, Echinocereus out of here uh, that the frost got, which I wasn't expecting. And again, these bowls only came in for a bit of tidiness over the winter. They're going back out soon. But, uh, well, <coughs> that's the polytunnel at the moment. Take a bit of tidying up and a bit of rearranging before we open to the public properly. Uh, thank you for looking, everyone, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.